Good morning, everybody. It's Teresa Scully here with a unique mat class. Um, what I'm really excited about teaching you today is boot camp. So we can use hand weights. Heavier is better, not so much ones or twos, um, but a little heavier, three, four, five, <clears throat> ten if you choose, a TheraBand, a Pilates ring. And if you don't have a Pilates ring, wait for it. You can also use a small ball, okay? So um, rings are available for rental if you want. Um, just comment and message me if you're interested. So you do need sneakers too, because uh, we're gonna be standing and doing squats and those kinds of things. Um, try your best today. It is a little bit more rapid than our normal mat classes, um, but let's go. Okay, we're going to begin with the ring or your ball. All right, so what we wanna do here is we want to ensure, first of all, that we warm up the body. And it's really important to warm up the body from the legs first, finding the core. Leg muscles are bigger, so they get the blood circulating through the body much, quick, much quicker. So find your feet facing parallel, okay, facing the screen. And we're going to find that ring or your ball between the hands. Take a breath in, grow tall, and send those shoulder blades down the back. Breathe in, squeeze the ring in the ball, and press out. Pull it right back in, exhale. Inhale, squeeze the ring, and exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Now, if you have a watch like I do, you might want to put it on your workout. And I'm going to pause you, bear with me, to get that Record it. You gotta record every movement, so I'm telling you. Every movement you do. So inhale, exhale, shh. Inhale, exhale, shh. Inhale, exhale, shh. And inhale, exhale, shh. Lengthen out, squat. Pull it in, deep in the belly. Lengthen out, squat. Pull it in, deep in the belly. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, take the ring to the right, squeeze. Exhale, shh. Exhale, shh. Exhale, shh. Exhale, shh. And exhale, shh. Take it to a squat. Shh. 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 What's our form, guys? You wanna make sure that those hips are facing forward. No twisty hips. Shh. Last one. Shh. From the side, we're going to stand. Lengthen the ring up or the ball up and out of the shoulder. Bring the chin in and articulate down. Bone by bone, take your inhale breath. Stand strong on your feet and stack those bones up. Drawing belly to back. Shh. Again. Squeeze the ring, squeeze the ball, draw your belly in, down to the floor. Inhale, stand on your feet, squeeze, shoulder down and out of ear. Draw your belly in deep, lengthen into your back. Even though we're moving faster than we have in the past, you wanna ensure that you are being abdominal connected Spinal articulated. Shh. Let's do one more. Shh. Good. Good. And then we're going to take it into some side stretches. So the ring is staying overhead. <clears throat> and we're finding the feet parallel to start. And we take a side bend and a side bend and a side bend. Every time you take that side bend, guys, we're gonna squeeze the ring in, and in, and in, and in. Last one, in. Find your center. Take one foot in front of the other. Right foot in front, left foot behind, and side bend, and side bend, and side bend. So stretching up and out of the spine, we take our side bend, 
and side bend and the side bend. Pull that ring in. Switch. One foot in front of the other or staggered if you choose. Breathe in and side bend and side bend and side bend and side bend. Inhale. One more each side. Last one. Good. Pull that ring in. <clears throat> now, we're going to bring the legs, sorry, the arms in front, feet parallel, up, squeeze the ring, and squeeze the ring, and squeeze the ring. Now we're moving up into heel raises, pushing into the big toe and the second toe, and trying not to let those ankles roll out to the side. So I want you to keep those inner ankles engaged. Pull it in and press out. Pull it in and press out. And pull it in and press out. Pause. Take it to a turnout. Heels together, toes apart. We're going to bring our arms to the front and we rise and squeeze and rise and squeeze. First thing, we keep our heels connected, squeezing those heels inward, zipping it up and zip it up and zip it up. And then we rise with the ring overhead as we lift the tops of the feet to the side and pressing into big toe and pressing into big toe. Feeling length into the top of the foot. Two more and last one. Beautiful. All right, I feel like we may have the heart rate up. Let's do a few more things for arms. We're gonna take our ring or our ball and put them off to the side for now. And we're gonna take those arms overhead out to the side and stretch the chest. Point your fingers behind you, down. Exhale, down. Exhale, up. Exhale. Keep your shoulder blades down and out of the ears. Let's do last one here. And then reverse it, out to the side, Flex the hands and down. Out to the side, flex the hands and down. Breathe in. Breathe in. Now as we're pushing those arms down, draw your navel into your spine. Let the abdominals give you energy to slice those arms down into the floor. Last one. We're going to roll those shoulders back, roll them in front, separate the shoulder blades, and hold your body to center, legs squeezed, arms strong and by your side, turn your head to the right, breathe in, center, to the left, breathe in, exhale, twist, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale and exhale. Good. Chin to chest, curl it down, stack the bones up. <clears throat> to the left, chin to chest, curl it down, stack the bones up. Shoulders down and out of your ears always. And come to the center and rest. Okay, we're gonna go back down and grab your ring or your ball, whatever it is you have. Okay, and we're going to go back into our squats and we're going to move our squats. So, we're going to start with parallel legs first. We're going to squeeze the ring and squat and push and squeeze and push and squeeze and push and squeeze and push. Now, if you want a little more energy, you actually can use a bigger ball than that small ball that I showed you in the beginning of class. And exhale and exhale, and exhale. So, grab that big ball, we'll wait for you. While we're waiting, we'll still do more squats. Press, and press, and press, and press, last one, and press. Good, we take it to a wide turnout. Same thing, squeeze the ring, bend, and press, and press. Every time you stand up, guys, I want you to lift up, from the pelvic floor. Feel those inner thighs 
squeezing you up and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and breathe let's do one more here good walk those feet in turn out feet here we go same thing we squeeze push squeeze push squeeze push and squeeze push and push and push when we push guys I want you to squeeze the arms inward against the ring or the ball shh, shh, shh. exhale zip it up from the inner knees all the way to the pelvic floor feel strength shoulders down and out of your ears and rest we go back to wide and we are going to add some pulses at the end let's go for 10 9 8 7 6 4 3 2 stay here and pulse two breathe out Shh. pulse two breathe out Shh. pulse three breathe out Shh. pulse four breathe out Shh. pulse four five <laughs> breathe out press six breathe out press one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and come up pull those legs again to parallel same things we go for ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two squeeze your belly in push your hips forward good stay down and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten breathe in one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up you go. Nice work, guys. All right, now we're going to take it out to our Pilates turnout. Same thing, you can think of them as plies. It is a comfortable turnout. We go down and up and we pulse, all right? We go one, push, two, push, three, push, four, push, five, push, six, push, seven, push, eight, push, nine, push, stay here, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. tired all right let us take um, let's take the small ball all right if you you already have one let's go for there so I drop my ring down and we're gonna take the ball oh it is a door ball way back from when I had my first child <laughs> so any kind of squishy ball without that much hair air in it really works well so we're gonna take a wide stance and we're gonna send the ball to the sky and we're gonna chop. Inhale, squeeze the ball, chop. Squeeze the ball, chop. What's glorious about this is if you're done with the squeezing, you can pick up your weights or you can just move the arms and do exactly the same motion. Chop, inhale and chop. Inhale, chop, inhale, chop. Squeeze your belly in, squeeze the belly in. We inhale, chop with the strength in the belly. Chop with the strength in the belly. Chop with the strength in the belly. And chop, and chop, and chop. Go down, stay, and push, 
push, push, push, and push, push, push. Squeeze the ball, squeeze your stomach. And fast, fast, fast. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. To the other side. Inhale. Shh. Inhale. Shh. It's a turnout, guys. We want our legs to be open at the hip and open at the knee so that we are protecting the hip and the knee and the spine. Core squeezes. Core squeezes. Just like you're chopping wood, guys. The bellies are not soft. When you chop wood, you gotta have strength the core to get that effort to split that wood and press. Squeeze the ball, press. Squeeze the ball, press. Squeeze the ball, press. Inhale, chop, use your belly. And chop, and chop, and chop. Let's go five, and four, and three, and two. And stay here, and push, and push, and push, and push, and push. Squeeze the ball, push. Push, guys, I'm squeezing the ball with the palm of my hand. I'm not gripping with my fingers. My wrist, neutral, press and press. Stay in your static side lunge. Press and press and five and four and three and two and one. Squeeze it. Oh yeah, you'll toe those feet in. Wonderful work. Don't you like that? Let's place our stuff off to the side and we take a step to the left, step to the right and left and right and left and right. Guys, stay soft at the hips and bent. Soft at the hips and then. It's a small turnout in the feet and the knees. So again, we're protecting the hips and the knees. We have a nice squat ability when the knees are turned out a little bit more. Inhale, inhale. Shh. Shh. Squeeze your hips, push your hips forward. Push it forward. Push, push, and five, four, three, two, pause. If you didn't have your weights already, let's go for them. Here we go. Go for them. <laughs> when you're breathing hard, sometimes words don't come out right. Take a step first. When you get your groove, we're gonna go out and out. Push your hips forward, squeeze. Now the leg you step onto, squeeze that tush, and right tush, and left tush, and right tush, and left tush, squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Soft hips and knees, guys. Don't pound into your knees, striking down on the ball of the foot, keeping your heels gently lifted, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, good. Rest. I added one more in there. Isn't that awesome? Okay. The next thing we're going to do is lunges. Keep the weights in your hand for now as we take it to a forward lunge. Imagine that you are standing on a train track. Forward. D dip the knee and up. Let's stay on this side. Let's stay on this side. Guys, I'm watching my knee, my bending back knee on the screen here, and I'm noticing He's want to flaring out, he wants to flare out to the side. So I'm gonna squeeze that inner thigh so that he is tracking in the center line. Same for you guys, down. Now we bring the arms to broken T, and we go out and out. Good, squeeze the belly in, squeeze the belly in, and in. Last one, pull it in. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We did broken tea earlier. Now we're gonna go forward and punch. Broken tea is a cheerleading term. And we're gonna go to candlesticks, <laughs> another cheerleading term. So straight in front. So again, before we go there, we take our lunge. Just stay same side. Right guys, we'll watch that back knee and make sure that it is facing in and it's not tracking out to the side. Now this is where I've said before that we use Pilates principles 
to ensure that we are using those abdominals. Even when we're doing, quote, gym exercises, boot camp type exercises, drawing belly in, playing long posture is what turns it into Pilates. Now, feet together. Let's go with candlesticks together in. Shh. Inhale, exhale. I want you to use that back quad to drive you up to standing. That front leg, he's not gonna be the main mover. I want you to get that back leg to push you back to standing. Use total knee extension on that back leg and pinch those shoulder blades back when you bring those arms in. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, and exhale. Let's do four more, that's one. And two, three, watch that back leg, stay on the big toe. Don't roll that leg out and rest. <sighs> Feeling good in the neighborhood, friends. Feeling good. All right, let's place those weights back down. And now whew, we've got the band. We're going to draw the breath down a little bit more and slow it down. And as I look at my heart right here, I was able to get it up to 154 beats, which is pretty remarkable because that's the heart rate when I'm doing spin at a moderate intensity, <laughs> not when I'm doing jumps. But that's a pretty great heart rate. On top of strengthening, I'm taking it. So we're gonna stand on your right leg. We're gonna feel the body long and strong. Now, if you wanna be my mirror, you stand on your left. We're gonna lift the knee up. And we're gonna find a tabletop with your TheraBand. Squeeze tight. And we're gonna push out and in. Lots of stuff happening here, guys. We're keeping the body nice and long and lengthened. And you wanna keep your waist symmetrical. Press out and in and out and in. Now, we're gonna kick up, kick up the notch a little bit. We're gonna kick up the notch a little bit. Kick up the energy. If you choose, you go out, single leg bend. Oh yeah, out, single leg squat. You guys, did you see that right knee of mine flare out to the side? That's a no-no. So you wanna make sure that as you are taking that single leg squat, that you're going where you can. If that means from the side that we're gently bending and we're not bending deep, but we're feeling control, and for goodness sakes, control is work, and you are in the right place. Let's do two more. You ready? Press out. And if you're wobbling and falling all over the place, nobody cares because I can't see you and nobody else can see you. And rest. Ah, nice work. What did that do for me? That was 146 feet. Okay, my heart rate might not be as great as yours. I'm not very cardiovascular like I used to be. Virtual school has ruled my life. <laughs> That's a pretty good heart rate for me. So I hope you're feeling it too. So again, we're gonna find our perfect single leg stance, toes forward. We're gonna lengthen the shoulder blades down the back, pelvis is level, push out, inhale, push out. You wanna have a place where that band is feeling secure, by the way. That's why we're also in sneaks, not only because we're lunging and squatting, but because the sneaks help grip the band. Press out, inhale and out, and out. Whoa, don't let it make you fall back like it's doing me. You're pushing out at about an angle to make you feel the quad and the hamstring. They are both working here. Now, kick it up. I can tell you guys this is my very, very weak left leg. You're gonna see what it looks like when you're modifying and when you're very wobbly. <laughs> but guess what? We are all here to make the body balanced, to settle the mind, strengthen the core, and keep joint longevity. Here we go. Pressing out and squeezing both quads. Both squat, quad squeeze. Ah, I caught myself. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go. Two more. 
way through that big toe, try not to roll your ankle out. That's what happened with me with that left foot. When I wobble, guys, look how I roll out. Oh, it's hard. And rest. Shake it out. Good work, friends. Good work. All right, now we're gonna go back into our left leg, left leg front lunge. Left leg front lunge. Here we go. Getting right on top of the center of that band. So you've got weight on that band with that front leg. Two options, guys. This back leg can be just kind of straight with a tiny turned out foot uh, to allow the Achilles not to be super stretched. Um, or you can be here with a gentle bend, okay? This is nice to get strength. This is nice when this leg is fatiguing. So go where you wanna go. We're gonna work some biceps here as we find a good grip on that band, okay? Make sure you're not killing your hands as you're gripping that band. Now, we're gonna take a lunge and just test this out. Front leg straightens, you see me? Back leg straightens. So we're bending the knees and we're back leg straighten, left leg straighten, front leg. Again, if you're a little bit fatigued on that back leg, you can come forward and back like so, or just come with me. Here we go. And now we're gonna add the bicep curl. So when we go down, we're going to stand up and move into a bicep curl. Down and up and down and up. Keep your pelvis left side and rest. <laughs> Keep your pelvis left side and right side, same line. That's gonna ensure that we're not shearing the low back. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's do two more. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Guess what? Stay down there, friends. And we're gonna pulse the band up like this. One, two, three, four, five. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. Nine, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Rest. Oh. Take a step back. Relax that back foot. At least that's where I felt it. Now we're going back. This time I do want you on your back toe. We're gonna to take a lean forward. So from the side guys, I'm gonna go here. We're gonna notice that I'm angled and falling over. <laughs> Cross the band like so. Make sure you've got enough tension. Bend the elbows for a wide row. I say wide row, but I really mean like a 45 degree angle, by the way, guys. So we're going into a low row. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Now, that front leg might start to fatigue. Deal with it. We're gonna work those deep hip stabilizers. We're gonna feel that hip joint maybe even stretching right at the capsule. That's kind of like a deep, hard pull. You know, that's not muscular, that's capsule. And five and four, and three, and two, and one. Stay here, guys. Can we straighten those elbows out for a triceps press? Make your body nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Don't you love it? I do. <laughs> All right, lovely work. Still at 152, that's pretty good for me. For me, mind you guys, you might want it higher. Here we go. Take that lunge forward. Find that back toe, strong lifted in the ball of the foot. You can have enough tension on that band to have some work. Lean forward, head to back foot, one straight line. Bend the elbows, pull back, and draw belly into back, and exhale. And exhale and exhale forgot to tell you but you can use weights here too you don't necessarily need the band okay it's gonna feel a little different but still gonna work the same areas punch 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 those shoulder blades back and pinch 
and draw the head long. It's triceps time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, you guys. Ten. Whew. And rest. Did I tell you I loved it? I love it. It's feeling good in the neighborhood. All right, now we're going to stand forward again. Parallel. Take the band again, right at the ball of the foot, anchored on the tread of the shoe. Bring the leg out to the side. Stand strong. Your best bet, guys, is to ensure that when you're working a spot, you're going to work it in a way that nothing else feels super tense to even hold the band. All right, I'm going to take this and wrap it like this a couple times because for me and my inability to open the hip wide, it's rubbing against my leg. It doesn't bother me, I got pants on, but it's kind of triggering me to hear that noise. <laughs> so here we go. Press out and out. Now as I'm watching myself in the screen, I see my left hip popping up. Not a good thing for me, but it's all right. We're all in this together, trying to make practice permanent. So I'm practicing perfect form always, and it's better than not even being as perfect as I can. And press, and press, and press. Keep that leg out to the side. Take a pause, heel is on the ground, and we kick that leg up, and up, and up. Be as tall in the spine as you can, feeling that you're sinking that pelvis down to the floor as your femur, your leg bone, kicks up to the sky. Kick and kick and kick. How many do we do, guys? I don't know. Two more. One and two. Ah. All right, here we go. Switch sides. So, catch my breath. You as well. Stand this leg forward, parallel. You don't want to turn in, you don't want to turn out. You want to feel second toe straight forward. Feel energy on the outside edge of that heel. Engage the band to a place where we're going to twirl it. You can feel it just anchored into your torso, pressed against your sternum. The legs comes open to turn out. You press out and in. Let's get my foot in the frame here. Push out and in and out and in lengthening into the back of the neck, squeezing the belly in tight as we push out. Push through the heel and feel the knee turned out towards the ceiling. Check on that pelvis. Make sure they're facing forward, left and right. When I say they are, left and right, lengthen. Total knee extension, guys. Push through the quad. Lengthen and open the hip. Let's go a few more as I'm doing corrections through this series. Woo! Put that leg down. Just supporting a little weight on that heel. Now, when you're standing on your standing leg, try not to lean all the way over to that side. Be as straight on top of that leg as you can. Here we go. It's kick time. One, two, three. Use the belly as you kick that leg up and you're letting the band help rise it up. But then you're pushing down with the back of the leg into that band and press and press and press and press. I got my focus face on <laughs> and three and two and one. Whew, that made me work, guys. Hopefully it made you work. <laughs> All right, we're going to come down to the ground. Grab some water if you need. I'm going to go over here and grab my mat. I'm going to kick up the energy a little bit. Okay. We're going to stand at the back of the mat. I'm going to take off this sweatshirt here. It's kind of warm now. 
you can see the sun coming in. It's gonna be a glorious day. Okay. I get triggered when I have shoes on the mat, but I'm gonna be okay with it because <laughs> we need good grip. All right, so you're gonna reach up and breathe. Bring your chin to your chest and roll that spine down. You did this already holding on to that ring or the ball. We're just gonna take a moment here to breathe and let the heart rate come down just a smidgen and press up and down and press up. All right, guys, feeling the hamstrings lengthen and open, pull the belly into the back and let that belly be the force that rounds the back. Now, stay to your best straight leg position, tiny bent knees if you need. We walk out four counts. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Plank. One, two, three. Forward fold. One, two, three. Plank. Shoulder blades out of your ears. Four. How many more do we go? Let's go. One more. One, two, three, four. Stay here. Send those shoulders out of the ears. Your hands are a little bit in front of your shoulders so that when we point, our body goes over the wrists and flex the ankles. Point over the wrists goes the body. Flex the ankles. Draw your bellies in deep. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt, squeeze your inner knees together. Two more. And last one. And drop your knees. Take a sit back and breathe. <sighs> Woo. All right, my favorite part now is moving into mountain climbers. We're gonna go soft and peel back a little bit with the mountain climbers and then we go to full version. Here we go. We come out to our plank, lengthen long into that body. We drop right knee, then left knee, right and left. Feel the outside of your arms engage, pulling your belly into your back and hugging center line with the shoulder blades. Try not to let the hips twist too much. It's just the knee dip down, dip, 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 and dip, 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 and dip, 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 and five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> All right, you guys, it's getting even more real now. Can we do it? I don't have a timer in front of me. A lot of times we'll time a 30 second interval. So we're just gonna count to 30 as fast as you can. I'll count for you. If you're faster than my count, just listen to what I tell you, it's done. Here we go. Finding our perfect, beautiful, long spine. Dropping the butt. You guys, more work when you drop that booty. You pull in, tap the mat, like this. Okay, you ready? Go. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Take a break. Uh, curl up. Reach up, tall kneel, back down, forward, lift, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, faster. 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Rest, sit back, curl it up, rise up, down, walk out. Here we go. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Use your core. Nine, two, five, 27, 28, 29, 30. Down. Breathe. Curl up. Tall kneel. Stretch. And back out. My goodness, here's our last one. And go. Seven, eight, 10, 13, 14, 21, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! Good back. Hello, bird. Up, back out. Stay here. Round your back. Push into the tops of the feet. Inhale. Move into your cow. Oh. Inhale. Exhale, deepen that low back stretch. Inhale. Oh. Exhale. Bend your left knee. Look over your shoulder at that foot. Push into that right hand, come to the center. Switch sides. Push into your left hand, come to the center, down. Right knee bends, look over your right shoulder, push into your left hand, come to the center. Look over your left shoulder at your foot, push into your right hand, center. Scoop up, use your abdominals, bone by bone. Go for your weights, okay? I'm gonna crawl off to the side here and grab my weights. Hello there, hi. <laughs> Look, we've used everything today. Ball, ring, and band. Mm. We didn't use the ball enough. Grab your ball. Here we go. <sighs> ball between the knees. Moving into some traditional mat Pilates, but using resistance, guys. Here we go. Grow tall on those sits bones. Reach out, round back, scoop. Good. Send the back down to the mat, bone by bone. Gently with your arms, reach overhead. Let your body be your guide here. Because as those arms reach overhead, they can stretch that shoulder. We just don't want to overstretch it. And down again. Thumbs to the sky. Keeping straight alignment. alignment. It is alarming, but straight alar alignment from third finger to shoulder joint. Growing tall, round back, scoop. <sighs> okay, you guys, we're gonna get really, really connected. Ready? Stack up. Find your nice, tall, long body. Squeeze your ball. Bring your arms up, goal post arms. This is a straight back right now. In fact, as we bring the arms back, push your chest forward. So we can open the chest as we strengthen the back. Flexibility has it. You don't have strength in the opposite movement. You're not gonna have flexibility. So back needs to be strong in order for my chest to be flexible. Push, 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 and push, 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 and last one. Push, push, push. Now push up to the sky and down. Feel both sits bones grounded. Try to slide the back of the arms down and up against a wall. Guys, don't kill your shoulders, so if you need to lighten up that weight, go for it. I can't tell if you're struggling. I can't see you, but do it. Do what your body can safely and strongly do. Last one. Ah, holy moly, guys. That's working my back, my back. It's working my back. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Need a break. We're gonna go into rotation. Finding now a half back. So arms are in front, half back. Rotate, look at my thumbs, they're pointing to the sky. Squeeze your belly in, sit heavy on the opposite hip. Punch forward, rotate. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your ball. Exhale, squeeze your ball. Inhale, exhale, squeeze that ball. Good, wrap that shoulder blade back. Draw your belly in, fully engage right and left low belly. Check into both sides, guys. Rotate strongly. One more on each side. Here's this one, and here's this one, and stack up. How low shoulders. 
thinking you feel it too. All right, last one. I think you can do it. Are you ready? I'm catching my breath and fixing my earpiece here. Here we go. Lean back, round back, turn your palms up. Circle, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Reverse, inhale, exhale. Firm arms if you can, guys. Don't let the elbows lock out, but feel those arms lengthening long and rest. It's lovely. Roll down all the way, bone by bone. Let those arms reach overhead. Keep that ball there and just stretch the body out. Oh, let the floor hold you. Bring those arms up. Ceiling punches, shoulder blades reach away from the back and reach to the floor. Try to keep the head nice and soft and move just the shoulder blades. Reaching to the sky, arms are firm. Ceiling punches, don't bend those elbows. Five, four, three, two, one. Weights together. If you know skull crushers, that's where we're going. But our skull crush brings those hips up into a bridge and slowly down. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Use the core to control the lowering down. Exhale. Use that core. Use that core. Have I said it enough? Let's do it. Stay up here. We're gonna bend and straighten those arms for five and four and three. Slow controlled. Two. Hold it here. Breathe. Go all the way down. Slowly bend the elbows. Lightly place those weights onto your chest. Be very careful with your movements, okay? You don't want injuries. Now we're gonna move into the hundreds. So place that ball right at your ankles. Time check here, we're just about done. We're gonna bring the elbows here bent. See if we can go with weights as we move along and if it's just too tough, slightly place them down. Here we go, head, neck and shoulders rise up, palms are down and we squeeze that ball and we press. Two, three, four, five, breathe out. And inhale and exhale shh, 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 shh. and inhale and exhale in and out and inhale and out palms up this time and out pinch your shoulder blades back inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Oh, it's good stuff, guys. Place your weights down. Get rid of that ball. Oh, bigger core stretch. Pop that knee up and down. Breathe. Bring that leg up and stretch out the back of that right glute. Breathe. Circle your ankles. Go the other way. Good. Breathe in. <sighs> Find your calm place. Okay. Let's see if I can get that. Yep. Hold it long, late, and breathe. Draw that other leg in. Same thing. Stretch. Rotate those ankles. Go the other way. Hold and breathe. Relaxed head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing into that outer hip. Lower 
it down. Reach arms overhead, legs straight if you can. Roll it up. Reach up and over and stretch into that entire back line. Breathe in. Reach your legs out to about the width of the mat. Breathe in, rotate, saw. Rotate, saw. Rotate, saw. Keep that opposite hip down to the sides you're stretching. Last one. Center. For variety, we come into mermaid sitting on both hips, but both legs pointing to one direction. Stretch your arms out to the side. Lean to the side where the feet are pointing. Breathe in. Scoop. Good. To the other side. Draw that belly in tight. Lift the rib cage to the sky. tall and rest. Switch sides. Here we go. Finding those feet tucked nicely. Bend to the side where the feet are. Breathe. And rest. Wow guys, thanks for joining me today. That was a very good workout for me. I thoroughly enjoyed a change in, in movement that was a little bit more rapid but more controlled and still very heart pumping with good Pilates form. So thanks so much for coming. If you like this, tell your friends to, to join the Facebook group. Have them just send a, invita a request and I can let them on um, for a trial, see if they like it. Um, you guys, we are on the mend with this pandemic and very soon we'll be able to see each other face to face. So until then, until then guys, have a wonderful day, enjoy the sun and hold your loved ones close. Thanks for watching.